What was your best purchase this year? Washing machine around the start of the pandemic. We used to haul the clothes to a laundromat and fold them there. Same. We got it installed the day before everything shut down. Best purchase ever. A rumor. After having three spinal surgeries a few years ago, hoovering has been the worst. This bad boy has helped me more than you'll ever know. I got the Roborock robotic vacuum cleaner two years ago. And I spent way too much to get the extra features, builds a map of Floplum. Can run at scheduled times. Can do individual rooms. Phone notifications to empty dustbin or clean sensors or replace brushes, but it's absolutely been a worthwhile investment. It literally changed my life. I can go close to a year without vacuuming on my own. But this thing makes it an absolute no-brainer. But the best thing about it is that it forces me to keep the floor clear, so it can run. Squad rack. Took a long time to get everything set up. But it was worth the wait. Worth the wait. I'm not saying it was chickens. But it was chickens. They eat weeds and table scraps. They give us eggs. They give us good compost. They are funny as all heck. They force me to go outside regularly. But the best part is they are really good for my family's mental health. Just hanging out with them. Which is especially needed this year. I bought 10 chickens in February. We had been planning on it since buying our property. But COVID-19 finally pushed us to do it. Love the orange egg yolks and my daughter loves to play with them. A plane ticket to leave an awful ex. Bought some pants a week or two ago. I've had only two pair for quite a while, and it will feel nice to have some more. Look at Mr. Fancipants here, owning three pairs of pants. We are not all Rockefellers, you know. You better watch who you're calling Mr. Fancipants. An inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Being able to drive to a lake and paddle around on the water for a few hours really helped me get through this year. Paddleboarding is so much fun and great for year abs and my dog rides with me, too. It's fun hearing all the comments from the boaters look at that dog on the paddleboard. I usually hate attention, but I love that. A good backpack. I didn't think it'd be so handy, but I use it every day, and it's knowing that I can just grab it and go instead of worrying about getting stuff gathered up, or realizing I left something home that I needed. I'm mildly obsessed with backpacks. I don't even know how many I have, but definitely one for every occasion. Do I not have pockets and just need something to keep my phone, wallet and keys? I've got a pack for that. Need to throw my laptop and other work accessories in. There's a pack for that. 2-2-3 two, two, day trip, we are covered. Multi-day backpacking trip, I'm good there. And somehow I still want to buy more. A Kindle. I don't read much, but I'm slowly starting to read more and more. Pro tip if you have a library card, try the Libby app. I rent library books there to read on my Kindle and it's awesome. Another good tip is, if you can't finish a book before it's due back, you can just put your Kindle on flight mode and the book will stay on it until you go back online. I impulse bought a massive cutting block from Mikey that lives on our counter for $14. We love it. Even if Ike performed some sort of GD mind trick. To get us to buy it, we came in for a desk. Ike, hey, your cheese needs a desk too. These are the horse d'oeuvres you're looking for. An oversized sweater. It's huge. It's so comfy. It makes me feel safe. You might like a comfy also. It's like an oversized sweater slash blanket. I just got one it's amazing. Lego. Keeps my hands and mind busy. Who cares if I'm 33? 33 year olds are their main clientele. Who else can afford Lego? House. My wife and I were both WFH in a 500 square foot apartment which did not go well. We finally got a house with room to spread out and it's made our lives much easier. I recognize this is not an easy whim purchase, but instead was one that we've been saving for 8 years for. I'm reading every one of these responses, like they are the customer on a late night infomercial, and it makes the comments way more entertaining. Especially the comments about therapy. 10 tenths. Would work through my fear of abandonment again. Apostrophe. A soft close toilet seat. No longer will I be awoken in the night by the phantom midnight pooper. Have fun accidentally slamming any non-slow toilet seats you happen to encounter for the rest of your days. 
this. I make an ass of myself at friends and relatives houses. Consider the cost of your opulence. Hop. Bought an ice cream for a girl. We are tota now. My frozen heart melted. Technically not this year, but in December 2019 without knowing what was around the corner, I bought a bidet. Little did I know what a great purchase it would actually turn out to be. Even without the pandemic it's probably the best purchase I've ever made. Does a refinance count? Ended up with a 2. 375 rate and saving like 160 grand. Invisalin. I'm 2 months in. Can see major improvements. And people don't have to see or hear me talk funny with a retainer. 2 more months to go. Never thought I would win an award for having crooked teeth. But now it seems worth it. I had a dentist who would give you a $100 credit if you referred someone to their office. I lived in a city where a lot of young adults like me were moving in and getting their first jobs and insurance. So I managed to refer about 27 people to their office. Insurance covered the other half, so I didn't pay a dime for my invisalin. Turn your teeth into a pyramid scheme. Therapy. The older I get and the more people I meet. The more I'm convinced that every single person should see a therapist regularly. I bought a $2 travel mug that gets me free coffee from a gas station on every Tuesday. I can't wait for my 200th free coffee because after that I'll have essentially paid less than one penny for each refill. This is the goal in life. Travelin Tuesday at Binary? Oh yeah. 100%. A big fancy desk for my home office. Now I'm actually comfortable working from home. Purchased a solid 14k gold Swiss watch at a garage sale for $5. Probably my purchase of the year. I worked in a small jewelry shop for a few years in my early 20s and was always responsible for taking packages to the post office. The only one my boss ever showed any concern about was a solid gold watch when we had to send off to a specific watchmaker. He told me, if anyone acts fishy on my way to the post office, throw the other package I had at them and run. Fear that valuable. You want it. Geo and get it. Street smarts. Exclamation mark. I bought a $40 sweater that says small dick big dreams. A mattress warmer with dual controls. It fits directly on the mattress like a mattress protector. With the bottom sheet going on over it. The warmth comes up gently from below and encourages your body to relax and enjoy a good sleep, especially on cold winter nights. An electric kettle. I will never buy a teapot again. Wish I did it years ago. I got a $50 Motorola phone after my Google Pixel 3a was stolen at the beach. It does everything my other phone did besides take good pictures. It does everything notably slower, but it's incredible that you can even get a smartphone for $50 typing this on it right now a self-stirring coffee mug it's so much fun i actually look forward to getting up because it means i get to use it all of the parts for my first pc i'm very happy with it and it has turned out to be very useful for school it also means i can play cyberpunk 2077 later today mmmm dodgy the hype train is over maximum capacity Please don't forget to like and subscribe, if you enjoyed watching this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below.